Hello everyone, I am Stuart Weiler and I will be showing you some tips and tricks in MathCAD. The version I'm using is MathCAD Prime 7.0. The tips and tricks I'm showing you will work in most prior releases and I would assume in subsequent, uh, but of course some things may change version to version. So first I wanna show you some text boxes. You can see I already have a couple of text boxes and I've just put the title of this presentation, MathCAD Prime 7.0 Tips and Tricks. You can see I can move text boxes around on the grid wherever I need them to go. And I can multi-select if I want to move more than one at a time. I can, of course, do the same to delete. And if I want to add a new text box, I can either click in the field where I want it to go. That'll be the bottom left corner and press Control T and that will start a new text box. And I will add my email address. That way you know how to contact me if you have any questions. And I can also expand the size of the text box. I want to make sure that it stays on one line. Now, I can also use most of the hotkeys that you're familiar with, uh, things like copy, paste, um, and use that to put items into MathCAD Prime worksheets. So if I were just press if I have a, something on my clipboard, which I do right now, and press Control V, you can see it'll add whatever I had on my clipboard into a new text box. So those are text boxes. Next thing that I'll show you today is a matrix. So you can see that there is a tab for matrix, matrices and tables. And so you can insert a matrix by clicking on the drop down here. And this will allow you to determine the size of the matrix. So if I want a one by one matrix, I'm just gonna click right here and that'll put my matrix in. Uh, it will of course go wherever my mouse is currently located. Now, if I want a larger matrix, say 11 by three, you can see just by moving the mouse around in the grid, I can get to whatever size I need. And that's the grid that I'll add. Now I can go around the matrix to the bottom, to the top, left and right, just by using the arrow keys. So I'm just putting in my row numbers by doing typing, pressing down, type, down, type, down, etc. Now, if I realize that I wanted to add additional rows or columns, you can do that. There's hotkeys, which I find to be particularly useful. You can also use the insert rows and columns and delete rows and columns from up here. So if I wanted to add a new column to the right, I can click on this button. Or to use the hotkey, I can also use the shift and spacebar to add a new column, or shift and enter to add a new row. And then if I wanted to delete, same basic idea, I can click on the delete row, it'll take the selected row out, or to remove a column, again, the selected one. So if I were to be in this column, that's gonna delete the items currently in that column. These are a couple of tips and tricks to get you started. Uh, hope you found these useful, and I'll put a few more videos out to show you some more. Keep watching, thank you.